You know, Mike, I, I'll tell you, I have so many people ask me, knowing that I've, I've interviewed uh, Bill Belichick many times, knowing that I've written uh, a few books, not necessarily about Belichick directly, about, but Belichick's practices and the entire organization, they've asked me, what, what's he like? You know, is he like, is he really like he is in those press conferences all the time? And you know this as well. No, no, he's not like that. Uh, that is Bill Belichick acting. He acts that way on purpose. I know you find that hard to believe, but he does. Uh, he is a he is a multi-dimensional, very intelligent man. Not just he's just not just a smart football coach. He's a smart person. If he were doing anything else, he'd be excellent at it. That's just the way he's built. But I would also say, Mike, that he is a very loyal person. And that is one of his strengths. And uh, I think given the current environment, that is also uh, one of the weaknesses. I I'll tell you about his loyalty. If you, are, if you are a friend of Bill Belichick's, he's down with you, man. He's down with you. Uh, you saw that he made a political statement in support of Armenians. And it's not the first political statement that he has made in support of Armenians. He even went on Instagram on Bears Najarian, who is of Armenian descent, he, he went on his Instagram page and said, hey, I stand in solidarity with you. Uh, there are, there's a huge Armenian community in Boston. I think it's 50,000 Armenians in Boston. And he mm -hmm. said, you've always come through. The Armenian people persevere. And I like that he did this, rightfully so. I mean, this goes back, I, I, I think I never like to compare the oppression of people, like oppression itself, injustice itself is bad. I don't like to go with, well, this injustice, this oppression is, let me compare it, let me put it on a ranking list with this. I like to just historically look at some of the parallels, and I think African Americans could really relate to some of the things that Armenians are still in conversation about and still in trauma over because the one thing that they're, 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 they're really fighting for, many things they're fighting for, but one thing they're fighting for is something, Mike, that happened in 1915. It was genocide. The genocide, 1.5 million Armenians at the hands uh, of the Ottoman Turks. And so... It wasn't just the genocide, it was the denial that it happened. Oh, am I speaking yet? Am, am, I, am I saying something that resonates yet? That you did something and you deny how destructive it was, right? We, mm -hmm. we, you talk about African Americans. One of the things that bothers us is this lack of acknowledgement that the trauma was as deep and the oppression was as deep as it was. And still here we are in the 21st century where people still won't even acknowledge that what happened happened. You feel me? Mm -hmm. All right. So I think, I think Bill Belichick did a great job of acknowledging this and standing up for a human rights violation, human rights violations that continue to happen in 2020, that's loyalty for a friend. And I applaud him for doing that because he usually doesn't make political statements. Flip side, one of his friends that he remains loyal to is the president of the United States, Donald Trump. And because he's loyal to Trump, there are some things that he could be saying right now. And I know there are things that he would not allow his football team to stand for. He wouldn't allow his football team to say that the president is doing right now some behaviors that the president is displaying. And because of loyalty, Bill Belichick does not speak up about that. I'm glad that he spoke up on behalf of a friend, and I wish he would speak up to denounce a friend or at least separate himself from some of the things that Donald Trump is doing. His silence is deafening to me. His or is it silence, acceptance, whatever it is, it's a little, it's, it's distressing because I know that's not, that, that's not really the guy that, that I've talked to before.
I'm just, I'm just surprised that he could, and the irony, and I'll, and I'll say this and I'll give it back to you. The irony is that the president of Turkey, who is, Bill Belichick is saying, the American government needs to do something about this. The president of Turkey has been dismissive of Armenians and connected to Trump. So really what you're asking for is your friend, Donald Trump, to not be so negligent about this issue that you brought up unsolicited in a press conference. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.